these videos, we're aiming to create an online library where if you don't manage to come to Full Circle uh, or any of our events that we think are worth putting up, you can come uh, in your own time and look at this video and learn about the topic. Okay, good morning. My name is Delmi Regalado. I come from Honduras, from one cooperative. Is, uh, the name is Coca Felol. And uh, I'm trying to explain a little bit about how to produce a good organic coffee and good uh, uh, organic products for use in the farms. Um, we are uh, making some products by uh, pulp and by a mucilage. And our lemma is uh, we can do, we cannot do everything, but we can do something. So Coca Felol is located in, um, in the west part of Honduras, close to uh, El Salvador and Guatemala border. And um, this is in Ocotepeque department, right here, very close to Guatemala. So Coca Felol was funded in an 1999 with uh, 20 producers and um, is just you can saw the all uh, installations and um, the purpose was uh, just uh, make uh, the group of producers try to do um, uh, something to uh, give a uh, more uh, best quality so who we are I I, I told um, we are now 37 employees and uh, 425 members, and uh, shall be 81 women. Total production are uh, 38,500 bucks and 180 uh, hectares. 70% is organic coffee, and the rest has a uh, fair trade, uh, Rayforest Alliance, and other certifies. Varieties, pacas, catuai, borbón, parainema, pacamara, y café, lempira, mundo novo, y catú, marado hippie. So how our vision of sustainable coffee starts? So we have a high contaminate with a pulp and the mucilage. So um, we was finding uh, something to do about that. So... Roberto, my boss, he has a great, great idea in the year 2000. He wanna um, improve um, to, to make fertilizer by the pulp with the worms. Uh, but we start with worms in 2000, but uh, that process was so slowly because the worms is working slowly. And that take about six months to produce uh, one box of fertilizer. So the first thing we do is uh, we need to start with education, education to the employers and education to the producer. And four plus innovation, and we have the transformation. We have in Coca Felol five schools, financial school is trying to teach to the producer how financial the for uh, know how how many cost one uh, produce one box of coffee and uh, e cafe is like a tasting or cupping school because then the producer know uh, to learn how 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 taste the coffee and also we have a um, Jones school for the uh, producer children and uh, for the little kids too. And uh, we have an uh, organic school trying to the, teach to the producer how to produce their own fertilizer. Tell me, mm -hmm. sorry, with your finance, Fine. How, do you, how do you find the cost of production for, for one bag of for one smallholder farmer? It's a very challenging yeah. thing. Not, not, don't need every detail? No, Roughly, how just some. Uh, we give a piece of paper, just write um, how much they pay for the um, driver, for the um, 
workers and uh, for picking the coffee and everything. And then uh, we we can put all the numbers together, all the details together, and we, we can have the cost. Okay. It's the easy way because the producer, they can make the accounting. <laughs> So you have to give uh, the easy way to get the, the cost. So they find that benefit. Yeah, they find a benefit. So in the 2011, we start with a fair trade certified. And that way, they give us some money by the premium to take some parts from the schools. With that money, we, we made the schools and we made all the, the organic uh, projects. So we have a good employers. They are very com compromised with the, with the, with the work. Um, all the time, there are improvements. And uh, we have attitude, volunteer for the transformation. So the, the first thing we did is changing our mind. Is that difficult? It's difficult. It's the, it's the part. <laughs> you know, it was not difficult to get the money for the project. This is the part most difficult, change the mind of the producer, especially on the producer, because they, uh, they was using a chemical for a long time. So now we are, uh, we start just the 1%, I think, in the coca and now we are in 70%. Okay. We are increasing every, every year. What was the main thing that changed their attitude? Yeah. What, 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 what was the main decision? or main information that helped them to change their attitude? Why did they change? Why? Uh, for the money. Every time we give it, yeah. <laughs> this, this is the only way. They, I say to the producer, you, you can give uh, education, uh, everything, but you don't pay enough money for the organic coffee they don't want to make. <laughs> the, uh, both, but, but the, the first thing we do is give a premium for the, uh, for the organic coffee. Yeah. For the conventional coffee, just sell the coffee. For, for the organic, we give a premium extra for the uh, fair trade. We took some premium for the fair trade and give it to the organic producer. Okay. And how many producers do you have in your company? 425, yeah, producer. And 70% are organic. How bigger? Sorry. How bigger? Will you just go over the, the improvement in terms of monetary value, in terms of Improvement in livelihood value. Do you, do you, no, will, you, will you tell us how much more money they get if they go organic? Organic, so yes. Yeah. Something I always come up against. Is it twenty percent? Yeah, percent? yeah. It's, it's depending. It's for uh, because we are cert, uh, fair trade certified. If you got organic, you can have you can have a minimum price a uh, dollar ninety. But if you are only fair trade, it's a dollar uh, forty, I think. Dollar sixty, yeah, dollar sixty. So you can, uh, if you are organic, you can have above premium. That's the the the. And uh, if you have a good quality, you can, you can have a premium by organic, by fair trade, and by quality. Mm -hmm. uh, but their net profit. Yeah. So they, they yield, or how many kilos they produce? Is yeah. still good. It's still good in the in the middle in the middle side. Yeah. That's what I told with the one partner, say, um, if you are organic, you have to work hard in the farm. Don't, don't take care of that farm, how conventional farm. Because you have to go to the farm every 15 days or every month, <laughs> but not every, uh, two, two times a, a year. That, that's a regular, regular conventional farm. Because it's a lot of work to do yeah. in an organic farm. Because if you, you have to put fertilizer, Every month, and a more, more, more to the to the chemical fertilizer. Do they? Uh, how big does it say? Uh, most of the producers are uh, between uh, one to five hectares, but we have some medium medium producer about ten, so twenty hectares or fifteen to twenty hectares. Uh, it's just ten producer. Say the human farm. Because our lemma is uh, a special coffee for a special people. If you want to make a special coffee, you have to be a special producer. Okay? So the employees, the producer, and their children. That's a good point. You have to um, uh, teach 
to the children because when you go old, <laughs> nobody going to take care of the farm. It's not, it's not the kind of um, children uh, job. It's just teach them how to take care of the farm. Nice to see they've already got their cupping aprons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have a tree making with the coffee process. Because the, the thing uh, we do is uh, trying to teach to the children uh, about the coffee playing. Because if you, if you take some uh, uh, little ones to the one room like this and put a cup of coffee cupping, they go out. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do a uh, playing, okay? So with the organic product, how we, we do it from the pulper process or ripe cherries, we obtain two highly pulling residuals. One is the pulp and the other one is the mucilage. Okay, coca fellow received uh, coffee and cherry, and uh, that's classified in the fossil in the different beans to the pulp and fermenting, because we do the regular process, uh, fermenting process. From coffee processes, we have uh, two um, products are obtained, honey water or mucilage and pulp. Both are environment, treat, is no processes, and used correctly. Pulp is separate from the bean and transported and stories under overland to be processing and transforming in the soap products, including a warm compost and mineralized compost. So we have a two kind of um, soil fertilizer. One is made in by uh, worms, and the other one is made by uh, microorganisms. Why do you have two? Uh, because one is more... Um, a specialty fertilizer by worms, but it's a slow process. Yeah. We use that just for the uh, garden of fruits, plants, uh, yeah. because it's more expensive, because it takes more time to, to make it. And the mineralizer, mineralizer fertilizer just takes a month to make it. It's for the farms. It's easy way, because you put all the uh, minerals together, add to the pulp, and uh, add some uh, microorganisms and some rocks, and other things, and just mix it together and wait for uh, one month, and we'll be ready. You see, we have uh, the 40% of the total harvest of coffee is a pulp. And 22% uh, is a um, mucilage. If we throw away all those uh, subproducts, we have a high contamination. So coffee cherries, pulp, waste water, and then this the pulp come from the uh, made lombric compost. We call lombric compost, like a warm compost, a mineralizer, organic fertilizer, and we of bio ferment. Bio ferment is a kind of fertilizer we made by uh, mucilage in the tanks. So this is a one example we have in Cocapelol with the rust. You see this farm over here is uh, in 2013. That producer is about um, 1,100 meter, and uh, that farm is almost almost died. He was so sad about that. Yeah. So he has pacas, and uh, after after that he. Introducing in a school and learn how to uh, use the organic products in the farm. And um, the, the technical go to the farm and say, uh, you have to spray all the leaves, the fertilizer, and put some in the soil every month. But he was so so sad, so he, he doing it every 15 days. Say, it, it, I don't care if the, the, the farm go, go die. Anyway, it's, it's die already. But after that, you see, after three months, has a farm like this. It's going so quickly. That is a three-month Three months. Three months. Wow. wow. And you can, so, uh, you can see in the end of the presentation how is the farm is look now. So what is this and what is it used for? 
You see, the, the small bugs right here is the fertilizer by uh, worms. We use a small bugs, just um, very um, special fertilizer for the supermarket, and you can sell in the, um, in the supermarket for the uh, plants, for the garden, or for some uh, fruit tree. And um, this is the big bag for mineralizer, fertilizer for the farms. So you prepare the compost, the agri-compost, yeah. sell? We not sell too. We use for the uh, co cooperative for the producer, but the rest we sell because oh. we have enough now. Oh, okay. We improve the project for the producer, but right now we have a lot of fertilizer because we have a lot of pulp, and the coffee production is in, is growing in, Coca in Honduras. And uh, also, you can buy um, the pulp or the um, material from the other cooperatives, and we made it in Cocafelol with our label. Mm -hmm. So how do you apply? Do you, you, do you spray it or you, you spray um, it? Does it, does it dissolve in water? You can do both. Ah. Uh, for the fertilizer, uh, the liquid, you can spray in the leaves. And also you can put on the soil. But the um, soil fertilizer, just uh, go in. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have a pro we have a the problem to a uh, couple of years ago, the, the, the mucilage. So we now we learn how to use that problem to make a, a good environment. And, and now is the second part of the business of the coca -Felor, the second one. Wow. We, the idea a uh, couple of years ago was just uh, trying to don't contaminate. But right now we have money. We make money. <laughs> for those products. Okay, this is our fabric, it's not, it's not big, it's just um, tanks, and uh, we introduce the, the mucilage in those tanks and keep over there for about a month and uh, put some um, pH regulation and uh, some um, minerals, rocks, and other the things they do, and after uh, one month, they will be ready. See, we have a, a, this is for the spray on the leaves, the bottle. And we have a three, three kinds. The ones coming from, um, we have a, what does it say, the bioethanol, bioethanol, bioethanol plant. And uh, after you extract the alcohol to the, to the mucilage, you can have um, the, the last uh, bottle is a, um, we call um, agrocompost multimineral. And uh, also we have uh, microorganisms. You can find uh, these microorganisms in the organic farms and uh, high altitude farms. And uh, we go to the farm and choose the, the leaves for the microorganisms and uh, trying to uh, reproduce them in the coca and add to the pulp and in the mucilage too. We get them in waste coffee grounds too. Yeah. It? <laughs> it's a shame we can't ship those. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we have a biogas too by a, a mucilage. So, so some goes to fertilizer, some goes to biogas? Yeah. Uh, you extract by mucilage, you can get uh, alcohol, also bioethanol, gas. And the last one, you can have a fertilizer. Does the, yeah. Are you, is it, so it's fermenting and giving off meat? Fermenting, yeah, yeah. Do you have, like, is it like a collection going over the Yeah, the yeah, tank? yeah, okay. we have that. Do you find that you need to um, introduce the microorganisms? Mm -hmm. Are you adding them to further ferment other sugars that are left in the water? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because there's not, there's too yeah. much sugar. Left yeah, left. yeah, you're right. You have uh, you 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 need a uh, seven, I think, seventy percent of sugar for get a good bioethanol. Yeah. But if you don't have the enough uh, sugar, you can um, transport that water directly to the uh, tanks yeah. mm -hmm, for the fertilizer. So we continue investigating. So we have a teamwork in Coca Felol. There are no engineers because all the time they're they're fine. 
uh, something to inv investment, investigate it. They are young, um, young people. Some uh, come from their schools. See, it's the, the school where the producer trying to o sea, trying to learn how to uh, uh, apply that uh, fertilizer to the farm, so to the plant, to the ground. See, we have some key how that uh, fertilizer help to the farm. It's saying uh, with the El Salvador. Um, he says the plant is um, healthy; they can uh, resist to the to the to the rust. That's the thing we are trying to do. The quality of co of coffee increase too. It's no proof, <laughs> but uh, some people say if you use uh, organic fertilizer, the cup is going better. Say increase uh, improvement of production. It's not regular production organic coffee. Because some farm, we saw uh, one uh, high story in one country, uh, one farm produced five bucks by hectare. That's sad. Wow. You can't make money no. by that. So no, right now we are uh, producing 25, 25, 20 to 25 bucks for one hectare. And what about the farmers that are not using organic processing? Is the production lower than the organic? No, it's higher. It's higher. But you know, uh, we have some uh, conventional producer. They they don't have the cert certified, but uh, they use the organic products because we give free to them. But they use both, half uh, chemicals and half organic. They buy just uh, just the half uh, uh, fertilizer now, but they are no organic. Do you think they will become organic? Yeah. <laughs> Because they don't have, they have a, a more money, they have more prices, and they don't have to pay for that fertilizer. Yeah, they will. That's why we are teaching uh, how cost and how organic production. Because if we have the both sides, they they be uh, organic. This the the warm fertilizer. You see, look a little bit more um, more different. For the other one, more it's special. Very, very rich. Yeah, yeah, that one. This is our school. Every year, we uh, we have a group of the producer trying to get uh, some classes in an uh, organic school. It take about eight months a year to to train. It's a part of the group. So. That's the two scenarios, in the 2000 and 2018. That's what we did in the 2000, just uh, have a big <laughs> uh, and throw away the, the mucilage. Yes. And right now we have the 99% is processing. Yeah. <coughs> See, the pulp, you just throw it away, and right now we are using the, the, the 99% too. See? That was the, the producer who started the cooperative and here now. It was the old office, it's the new one. <laughs> you see? It was the, the old dryer, we still have it. And um, it's the old one too. And uh, now we have an um, exportation plant already, with the own exportation plant. See? This is the old warehouse, it's the new one now. This is the old dryer, Parios, and now we have a sun dryer. So we did it. <laughs> you see, the worm is happy now. He have a job. What's the worm's name? <laughs> I don't know. It's pink one. You see? That's the same producer, Fidencio. Wow. So he's happy now. It's his farm. So now we have a, our lemma for organic product is suelo feliz, so happy soil, planta feliz, so happy plants, and producer, happy producer too. 
So now he got a, enough coffee and um, he don't have to pay for the fertilizer. That's the most important thing. And that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>